For this effect, we use pictures, which are five frames long. The first thing we do is to create an adjustment layer. Drag the layer above the pictures. Then go to the effects and search for the black and white effect. Drag the effect to the adjustment layer. Next, we search for the noise effect and drag it to the adjustment layer too. Go now to the effect controls and on the noise effect, we set the amount of noise to around 57 to get it really noisy. If you like to have an overlay above this effect, you can use this 8mm one. For that, set the blend mode to multiply. You can download it in the description. Next, what we're gonna do is to highlight the first picture. Go to the effects and search for the transform effect. Drag it to the picture. Then go to the effect controls and go to the first frame of it. Set a keyframe on scale. Move now one frame to the right and set another keyframe with 120. Last, move two frames and set them back to 100. To add motion blur, set the shutter angle to 180. Copy now the transform effect and paste it to the other pictures and also to the last clip. You see it looks way nicer with this bounce. Final, create an adjustment layer and drag it behind our stop motion effect. Make it six frames long and copy it. We will now add some shakes which make this effect complete. You can download them in the description. Once implemented them, you can easy drag and drop them into your adjustment layers. There are 22 of them from hard to basic. Last, we add some sound effects. This sound effects you can also find in the description. Like and subscribe.